Philippines Daily. What's up? What's cool? What's not? What's fun, ridiculous, crazy, or unbelievable living here day to day in the Philippines? In general, here in Metro Manila, Philippines, Bonifacio, Global City here, things are pretty good. You know, I don't want to be a talking head complaining about flawed logic policies, of which there are plenty and of which I do complain about. But enough is enough, because I have a feeling the rant's coming up here, all right? Imagine you live here in fabulous Bonifacio, Global City, right? You've bought your beautiful condo in the premier city in the metro, spent your 18 million pesos, that is, and uh, it's your new home sweet home. And then GCQ happens, right, or ECQ, right, lockdown. And the condos implement these draconian measures, these policies. You can't use the pool, you can't use the gym, you can't do this, you can't do that. You can't have visitors. Yeah. No guests in your own home. Not allowed, but wow, verboten, forbidden. Imagine that. This is your home, your private property, so to speak, right? Although in a condo, it's technically not private property. And it's not the government that's saying you can't have visitors. This is not a law. This is not an ordinance. It is the condo. The condo's association determines whether or not they will allow you, the owner, the resident, to have a guest or a visitor. And it is not a consistent policy enforced throughout every condo building in the city. I got two buddies that live in two separate condos within, you know, four blocks of here, and both of their condos allow visitors. Matter of fact, one of the guys, he was telling me, he's like, I couldn't take it anymore. He's like, I broke my lease and moved to this other condo. He just walked around till he found a condo, and he, he's like, hey, you guys let visitors come in? They're like, yeah. He's like, all right, cool, I'm moving in. And maybe it's the American concept of like freedom, private property, you know, don't tread on me. The thought that it's not the government telling you you can't have a visitor. It's your condo association and you own them, essentially. You pay all the fees, right? They're here to serve you. But in their mind, they're serving you by locking out any potential, you know, leprosy carriers or tuberculosis carriers or viral carriers or whoever they think is, you know, the evil du jour. And you know, it hasn't been such a huge impact on me. You know, thankful, thankful, so lucky. I live with my girl, so when lockdown happened, it wasn't really an issue for us. But I can only imagine if I'd have been like a single dude living here and you know, they're telling me you can't have anyone come visit you in your apartment or in your condo or in your hotel room even. I probably, I probably would have gone nuts. I would have shot myself if I'd had to sit alone in a condo working from home for six months now. So, something to think about considering buying a condo here in the fabulous Philippines. I'll manage my own health and safety. Thank you very much. Your priority should be to keep me happy as a resident. And let me have guests visit me when I want to use the pool. Thank you. And that is it from today in the Philippines. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more content from Metro Manila, Philippines.